Okay, welcome everyone. So we have been given that cos 30 degrees root 3 by 2. So in this condition, we have to prove that cot 15 degrees 1 by 2 minus root 3. That's quite simple to do. Just a small user formula. Here I go. So we have been given that cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. Now what can we do here is we can just simplify this 30 degree as we can write it 2 into 15 degree equals to root 3 by 2. Now this can be compared to cos 2a. So we know that cos 2a is 1 minus 10 square a over 1 plus 10 square a. This is the formula for cos 2a. So on comparing the same thing here cos is cos 2 is 2 now a is 15 degree a so on the basis of this comparison we can assume a to be 15 degree so here in the formula we have 1 minus 10 square a by 1 plus 10 square a so in this case we can write here 1 minus 10 square 15 by 1 plus 10 square 15 why does this happen because cos 2a this is compared to a here so it's 1 minus 10 square a by 1 plus 10 square a and this will be equivalent to root 3 by 2 so now we'll cross multiply and solve it 1 minus 10 square a would be like 1 minus 10 square 15 this will multiply to 2 here similarly root 3 multiplies to 1 plus 10 square 15 degree so you can write here 2 1 is 2 2 into 10 square 15 is 2, 10 square 15 degree, root 3 1 is root 3, root 3 into 10 square 15 is root 3, 10 square 15 degree. Now, we will group the terms, like terms on one side. So for this purpose, what am I going to do is, I am going to write here root 3, 10 square 15, it's already on the right side and I am going to get this on the left side, so this will be 2, 10 square 15 degree. And here is already 2 so I'm going to get this minus root 3 on the left side so it's it's going to happen in this way so root 3 comes here and it becomes minus root 3 so now I can take here 10 square 15 common on the right side so if I do so I'll have root 3 plus 2 on the as the remaining thing so here I have 2 minus root 3 so 2 minus root 3 is as it is so I'm going to bring this on the left side and make it root 2 plus root 3 equals to 10 square 15 degree okay now I can uh, simplify this as 2 minus root 3 by 2 plus root 3 I'm going to rationalize or you can say I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator both by 2 minus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 so by doing this I'll have only 10 square 15 left on the right side <clears throat> so this can be written as 2 minus root 3 whole square and if you compare the denominator, it looks like a plus b, a minus b, which is equal to a square minus b square equals to 10 square 15. So on simplifying the numerator, we'll have 2 square is 4, 2 a b plus b square. And in the denominator, it's 2 square 4, 4 minus root 3 square is 3 equal to 10 square 15. So furthermore, now I can see the square and square root get cancelled and it becomes like 4 plus 3 that comes to be 7 minus 2 to the 4 root 3 all over 1 so it's 10 square 15 degree or uh, you know to make it quite simple you can do one thing here instead of simplifying this we can do it like this so let's write here 2 is 10 square 15 it's 2 minus root 3 whole square so we know that the denominator is 2 square 4, 4 minus root 3 is 1. So you can simply write here 1. So when the square goes on the other side, it changes to 2 minus root 3 only. So square and square on the both sides are cancelled. So it's 10, 15 is 2 minus root 3. So if 10, 15 is 2 minus root 3, then uh, 10, 15 can be written as 1 by cot 15. is 2 minus root 3. So by doing invert on the both side, you can write here cot 15 equal to 2 minus root 3. That's how our solution is.